hey, it's, it's dwarves, of course it's dwarves. Of course it's dwarves. But this time, this time, I thought, I looked and I learned. I went, what beats dwarves? Orcs beat dwarves. Pow. Pow. Prepared. Mm -hmm. Prepared. Because, of course, what's going to happen when you release goblins, halflings, Amazons, pro-elves, vampires, Kislev? Of course, everyone's going to go fucking dwarves, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, there's not even money on the line and still everyone's just being assholes using dwarves to crush the new teams. But there you go. The joke's on you, my friend, because I've got strength. I can herb dirt base him now. It is the champion's champion's ladder. Shoe smooth. I only ever play in the Champions Ladder normally. However, when when uh, when Cyanide actually fix um, fix their game, <laughs> I'll be able to um, I'll be able to play in the NAF official ladder, which will be very good. Yeah, he's probably just, to be fair, he's probably just going to one-dice me and kill my guys. But still, at least, at least I was clever. Wow, horrible. <laughs> <Some good run. laughs> to be fair, look, it's not his fault that he got matched against you. You know, I mean, it's, uh... But yeah, it's, it's fucking horrible, isn't it? Oh, man. Right, Orc throw has to get the ball. I am taking a valuable blitzer out of the fight, though. It was like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not that. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I can't work out to work a kid's toy though. Neither do I. What the fuck, kid? Right. Hope to base, base, base. It's a shame that I can't herb dirt base, base, base with this team because he'll just fucking one dice me and half dice me, but never mind. What's the biggest blood ball meme then, Shawnee? Where is the thrower? There it is! Here he is! The orc thrower! There you go, Shawnee. I mean, I can't actually have a fucking orc thrower. <laughs> Jimmy, how will you pass the ball six times if you don't have an orc thrower? <laughs> I like the brawler. Potato there with some... Oh no, and because I've taken the fucking orc thrower out of the action. As if just to prove uh, Dode correct, I'm going to have to make an unsafe block. Alright, that's okay. Oh wow, got a knockdown. Outrageous. Outrageous knockdown. Another one. And, an and another. That was brilliant, that was it. <laughs> Did you see? And uh, there was a. Uh, what? Well, the the day to day was the program. And Alan Partridge, who you may know from his TV shows, Alan Partridge. I'm Alan Partridge, etc. He, he originated in the day to day. And one of his one of his first skits was it was the World Cup, and he was like doing commentary in the World Cup, and he was like he was like boom and stuff when people scored, and then, and then he was uh, the re the instant replay showed the goal again, and he goes and another. And that was that was pretty funny, and that actually happened in real life. Um, to me, when my friend was in university in Newcastle, um, we were watching we were watching uh, Man United play Newcastle, and uh, I don't know if you remember when Rooney scored scored like I don't know if it was goal of the season. It probably should have been. Um, he scored like an outrageous fucking screamer. Did Rooney and, uh, <laughs> and 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 then like you know obviously there there were some Man United fans even though it was Newcastle University, um, and like they were celebrating and then they showed the replay of this like you know thirty yard screamer 
into the top corner. And this guy just jumped up and cheered again as if he just randomly scored it again a minute later. It was pretty special. Ah, oh, that's a shame, Shawnee. Oh yeah, how they're supposed to die, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty good during that. That'd be pretty good. Fucking hell, that was one of the funniest things I've seen happen, this guy. I moved him behind there so that he couldn't get surfed or even just blitzed by a troll slayer. Got a Kaz on turn one just quietly. That serves you right for picking on ogres. Um Get the blitz a uh a fucking armor eight guy. So that doesn't even need to be thought about. Two vampires getting in for the hit. Ah, oh, boo. I wonder if he's going to herb dirt base, base, base. That's the question. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance to herb dirt base, base, base. Ish. <laughs> quite, quite, I think they're quite memey. You got the two vamps, the potato, herb dirt, base, base, base. Guard wall. <laughs> Absolute madman. Norwegian Joy, of course. Bang Don. Dirty Dingo. VGP is Batman. Wemdo. Are there 11... Are there 11 ways? Are there even 11 ways? Yeah, of course they are. Block. Being blocked, being fouled. Um, surfed. Chainsaw. Um, bomb. That's only five. Um, go for it, dodge, fireball, lightning. Yeah, that's ten. That's ten straight away. Rock eleven. There you go. There's eleven. Bosh. Does it actually work out perfectly? Be eleven, maybe. Oh yeah, failed leap. Yep. Yeah. Thrown teammate. Eaten. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's loads of ways. My, not everyone can die from every way, but yeah. Hook door, base, base, base. Right, let's go. Safe mode. Safe mode engaged. Look at this, eh? Fucking, I'm fucking doing some safe moves first here. Just loudly. I'm not actually. Right, go back. It's not. This not. This isn't actually that safe, is it? It is now. So it seems I'm standing him up as well. I should uh, get him in contact. And then go for the cheeky 1D. Not a skull, so can't say fairer than that. Yeah, CCL. Now you can't die bitten by a vamp jam toast, you can only get um, badly hurt. Stabbed, yeah. Stabbed, that's a good one. Th yeah, rock from crowd. Yeah, badly. It's ca capped it badly hurt. They um, it wasn't originally, but they did change it to that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they should, shouldn't they? I mean, they they were originally, but then, you know, people didn't like taking permanent damage from it, <laughs> from the negatrate. 
Oh yeah, Apothecary. Oh yes, for good shout, Glaive Master can just stop that. That'll be the easiest one to get though. That's what you'll have one of your linemen who <laughs> is getting blocked all the time. Apple fail, yeah. Well not even Apple fail, Apple Apple choice. He's done a good job of staying in front of us actually. To be fair to him. But now it, he's, he's gone the Herb Dirt base base route, hasn't he? So, gonna get some blocks. Probably want to blitz him, right? Just because... Fuck him. Dwarf shithead. Oh, I can reroll that. It's turn four. Oh, yeah. Good reroll. Oh, yeah. Dwarves. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Can follow if I push him at least. That was why. You know, pushing him away wouldn't be as good, I think, as doing that. Gets two people. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do have a, I do have an orc thrower, actually, Muppet Pac-Man. As you can see, yeah, there is the orc thrower. He's a... Uh, He's a um, well. You missed it at the start of this match, actually, in Prater Augustus, because of course, when you, when you introduce Amazons, goblins, halflings, ogres, all all with lots of underworld, all with loads of dodge, and pro elves and uh, vampires and Kislev, who are very squishy, what's everybody going to use? The new teams? Nah, dwarves? Yeah. What do dwarves struggle the most against? Orcs. Do orcs absolutely smash all the new teams? Yes, of course they do. So um, the only thing they lose to is claw. But, um, you know, if you get your games in early, you don't have to fight the claw so much, do you? So there is that. Anyway, I'll just have to mute a bit as we're eating. So i uh, be right back. you have two orc throwers making you team twice as likely to win. Right, well, that was a shame, but never mind. Back on to the important things, which is banging on shithead dwarves. I'd like to blitz him, wouldn't I, really, to turn the corner a bit. So, and move, move people around. So, right.
Oh, this is glorious. This is glorious. There's, do you know what? Do you know what? There's only one. There's only one thing <laughs> in Blood Bowl that's this good, and it is beating the fuck out of dwarves. It's the best thing in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Just beating the fuck out of dwarves is just like the greatest. I wouldn't say it's the greatest feeling in the world, but it's the fucking greatest feeling in Blood Bowl. Um, normal, I mean, it's not so great when you've got Killer Chaos, because, you know, anyone can do it with Killer Chaos, can't they? But when you're just doing it with a random rookie team, it's fucking good, isn't it? Oh, God. Well, that was good, wasn't it? His failure there actually lets us push through through the middle now. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna do it without any dice, can I? Pretty good. Oh. Okay, can't do it without any dice. Fuck. <laughs> Base him up. Oh, it's a fucking GFI. Are you shitting me? He can block him and make it not a GFI. Bit risky, but it's a strong, it's a strong position, isn't it? Having a cage there, pretty good. That's strange because I haven't changed anything, so there's no reason for the the game sounds to be quiet. But yeah, I mean, I, I can. I'm on thirty here, and I can't really hear it. So, hey. Now, unfortunately, see, I, I don't know if you noticed here, but um, <laughs> no, yeah, I, I like hearing the dice rolling as well. Yeah. Um, I can't turn it up any louder, and I don't want to turn myself down. But if you'll notice, I'm, I moved six squares with the ball carrier there. Um, 
making me outrun my cage somewhat. However, if I was movement 5, I would have been based by a block player, and then my ball carrier wouldn't have had block. Also, when I had scored with my orc thrower there, had I had an orc thrower and scored with an orc thrower, I would have actually got 3 star player points on a player I want 0 star player points on ever, instead of a player that I want. And also, I'd be two squares further back, or arguably three or four t squares further back, meaning meaning that these players could reach me. But as you can see, they can't even base the ball. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I think carrying with a movement six block player, armor nine, is better than carrying with a piece of shit movement Eight, movement five, armor eight player. So that's just what that's just my opinion. Of course, the fact that some people do, the fact that some people do take the thrower, make it an entirely valid choice. Just the fact we're having this conversation means there has to be some merit to it. Is what is is what Dode said, which is akin to saying that flat earthers, just because flat earthers exist. You should discuss the possibility, which is uh, a bit ludicrous, isn't it? Again, only in my opinion. Everything's only my opinion. Can't stress that enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> Five, three, three, eight, that green's good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point, Fash. That is, that is a tough call, isn't it? Hello, Sam Davies. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty good thing in my Discord. The uh, the peak W, thanks to thanks to El Matto. Um, great response from Pete W, champion, champion, champion Blood Bowl player, <laughs> one of the best play Blood Bowl players ever to pick up the dice, um, said that, which is pretty good. Um, could three dice with block, would need four assists, can't really do it. Alright, perfect amount of rerolls, three there, wasn't it, in the end? Well, one was a bit greedy, the, uh, the double skull, I could have eaten that double skull, to be fair, if I'd, if I'd had to. There you go, the orc thrower getting the touchdown, fucking hell. Oh, what, he said something, AV9 always amazes. <laughs> you should check my all pro tips on YouTube. <laughs> oh shit, it's heat. Alright, at least I got two, that's good. Although the linemen, not so good. But that's two less to roll second half to get fucked by the dice. I mean, he's been fucked by the dice so far, obviously, with all those random armor breaks. Uh, and into cars. I mean, I, did, I don't think I even stunned anybody. It's just, just fucking cars. That is, yeah, what fucks dwarfs? Orcs. That's, that's correct. That is, well, that was my reasoning behind... Behind using this team. Orc throw wouldn't be bad after rolling Adj, move, move, double. But then you could have just had an Orc Blitzer who could have rolled Adj, move, move, double. And he's just better, isn't he? <sighs> right. What else do we lie on the Orc Thrower? Fucking hell. Play the link you put in your Discord. Okay. 
Um, right, the latest meme in Discord. All right. All right. If it's shown, me no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was listened to that uh, last night. I was watching. I was watching when you when you did it, Shawnee. Uh oh, Wem dope. Wow, not killed. Unbelievable. No, it is a banging tune. I, I like that. I like. I like that. I heard it though. You were playing it when you were uh, when you were drawing with Sage last night, weren't you? I was watching that, and I heard the, I heard the Shawnee be good. I I can't play on stream, obviously. Fash can't go on YouTube if I play it right now, because it'll it will invalidate the thing. Because it is copyrighted music, isn't it? There you go. Herb derp, base, base, base. That's because of the heat. Got a black orc cast. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> All right, come on! Don't get fucked by heat. Don't get fucked by heat. Don't get fucked by heat. Oh, he's good. That's good. Don't get fucked by heat. Oh, not so bad. The orc thrower got fucked though. None of his, of course. Absolutely ridiculously standard. Unfortunately, now if I win two nil, or even two one, it, ah, well, if I win two nil, he won't he won't have skilled, which is a shame, isn't it? I guess he's still got like seven, but seven versus nine isn't that crazy, is it? He he had um Yeah, he made six rolls and uh I made seven rolls. So it wasn't that crazy. It's just typical, isn't it? It's just typical. It's just pray it and not get fucked by heat. He got an extra reroll. <laughs> yeah, if he makes 22 GFIs, he'll probably win. Oh, and he's, he hasn't got his runner. That's good. Oh, yeah, I cast him, didn't I? Do you only have one? Great. Yeah, I agree, Fash. Uh, MA6 Longbeards are Dopra. Oh, there should be a gym guarantee on this team, shouldn't there? Just realised. Yeah, I, can, I guess I can just base up his LOS here. Keep one Orc Thrower back as a safety. And pressure with either two Orc Throwers. <laughs> Fashion Shawnee. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Death Ball. <laughs> I've got no idea what Dobra means, but, uh, you know, Fash said it, so it must be true. It's probably a word Fash has invented. I 
Ah, oh, that's actually a good spot. Then the, then the guy who stands up can stand up later. I guess I should have stood him up first. If he's abreast of him, that's better, isn't it, actually? been the Indians and Indian YouTube sensation. Mark is bad. <laughs> I can base the ball here. <laughs> my uh, my life will be complete as I get to base the ball. Time for some reds. Oh, the shit. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Just for the memes, Zoff 3. If he doesn't stand him up, yeah. I could still chain him out. No, I can't chain him out. I could just chain him to there. Could chain him to there. But I doesn't really do anything, does it? He could overextend over here. But then he could do that, so maybe he should run around over here. GFI, isn't it? Fuck's sake, only GFI. Maybe he could go there then, and then he come. He comes back. He stands up. He's back as the safety. He makes a blots. Okay, base everyone. Up, up, base, base, base. Base and having more strength and more players and armor nine. It's about the best place, best position you can possibly have to base people, isn't it?
A little cheer fighter to dice him. Oh, you bastard. Really, though. <laughs> I mean, it's fair enough. Obviously, again, he, he can't not do it, can he? He can't just give up. Um, but they just it, they don't have to be pals, do they? <laughs> right. He can come in here. And... Aha, he's... Uh, He's in the way of the blitz, isn't he? We can go out of the way. Wem Dope can get in the mixer. And the Dirty Dingo can get the blitz in. Potentially. <laughs> of course not. Nah, Shawnee, now. <laughs> Alright, good. Got him. I don't want to get surfed here, realistically. Ball in the crowd's alright, isn't it? Because I've got the blitzer to go get it. Even though he doesn't have short hands like a like a good, fantastic orc throw would have. Um, all right, that saves him from the surf. Nah, orc throw would have got that with his short hands. But would the orc throw have been in the right position? That's the thing, isn't it? That is the thing, that's why I don't really like pass as a skill. Uh. Because at first they, they swapped positions, didn't they? The uh, blitzers there. Oh god, he does get the surf. Fuck. He gets the surf. What a clever dingo. What a clever dingo. He was a clever dingo there, getting the surf, wasn't he? Fair play to him there. I mean, it does mean that he gets his guy surf back, but still. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Shawnee, yeah. Hello, Clive. Yeah, four Black Orcs, four Blitzers. Um, one mixed nest game, unfortunately. This one's only badly hurt. Wow, stop red dicing me. Oh, fucking hell, man. Fucking Orcs. <laughs> It's been brutal, actually. He's made two cars, and then I've made three, and then he got a guy sent off for no reason. Oh my god, are you shitting me? No serve. Alright. No problem. <laughs> no surf, no problem. I guess I'd rather he failed if it's a double score. Hmm. Can he surf me here? Don't think so. Go for a pickup. Now, Shawnee, now. Yeah, I like Orcs as well. So, last turn, the uh, you could say the Orc Thrower wouldn't have picked it up, seeing as it was... Two on both tried. Oh god. Dwarfs are pretty annoying, like aren't they? I mean, I, I don't know how many. He's probably he's probably made less turnovers on red dice than I've made on two dice. 
He's still in a pickle for getting served, isn't he? That's very true of a Pac-Man. Yeah, like, to, in all seriousness, um, in like a naf style tournament, um, or like, or a short league win at all costs kind of thing, um, then there's obviously a good argument for the thrower. But in a in a perpetual environment like this, I wouldn't even consider the thrower. Similar reasoning to the uh, to the uh, dark elf runner, isn't it? Same kind of same kind of thing, same kind of deal. Stop, fa Stop fucking failing everything. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, exactly. It's what I'll do. Yeah, true. Fair enough. <laughs> I could I could have rerolled that last one. But there's still not not really heat on, is there? If there was heat on, I would have re-rolled it. Hello, Price. Um, it's the same. It's the same deal with throwers. I think. I think dark elf runners are good in res, and good in short-term leagues, where you desperately want to win every game. Um, but in perpetual. I wouldn't take them. Maybe different high TV. High TV is a little bit different, I guess, because high TV, high TV, then kind of becomes the short term win at all costs, isn't it? If it's for the playoffs or whatever, give you a better chance against what else. I could see, I could see that being a thing. He's in there. He's in there. Should have stood him up, probably. He's in there. Right, I've got to, got to re-roll the pickup now, haven't I, if I want to score? Oh, it's a shame that it's two vampires doing the potato and not potato. But um got two re-rolls. I guess there's no point doing the re doing the GFIs till I have to. Um just to like maximize their effect. Their impact. You know, maximize the threat, isn't it? I don't want to just fail a GFI and die on turn fourteen. Um, <laughs> whereas if he if he one dice blitzes me or whatever on turn fifteen, um, and I don't have to make that GFI and then don't die. Dump off on vampires. I couldn't think of a worse skill for a vampire to take this dump off. <laughs> You could take dump off again, like you know, if you were, if if let's say you were in a league with uh, Sam Davies had had um, witch elves with uh, wrestle and tackle and strip, then and you know you didn't have a show hands blitzer, then you could there'd certainly be an argument for taking a for taking a runner there just to dump it off, couldn't you? I really don't agree. I, I really don't agree. I, it, it, I mean, it can anything can be good, can't it? It's just, it's just the opportunity cost. So I, I think the opportunity cost is too great to pick dump off as a skill for anybody. 
Um, up to four usually. People generally don't tend to go higher than four, maybe five. But three, four, or five. Start with three at minimum. And then go up to like five, maybe six eventually. Yeah. Yeah, this is the meme machine. Here he is, two vampires. Right, so he can just base him. Herb dirt, base, base, base. So I can blitz the edge three one. He can base the other edge three one. One, two, three, four, five, and then six one hitting him. So he can make a safe move first and also um, make it a safer block. One, two, three, four, add GFI now. There you go. Just because he could push me back one square, couldn't he? That's what I was thinking. So now I've made one, I might as well make the other one, because I'm going to have to do it anyway. Get him in there. PP2 feeling doing math. Oh, yeah. No, sadly not. They should be safe moves first on the team. Still got his rerolls as well. Ah, oh. that was a that was a guaranteed knockdown. I thought about not GFIing, but I think I had to make the GFI just because he could have got a push, couldn't he? It was possible. But again, Lava Jackal, they would have to put a skill into it. I just think you can't put a skill into it. You can't put a skill into Nerves of Steel either, I don't think. So for like, you know, Pro Elves getting Nerves of Steel is nice. And Dark Elves getting Dump Off is nice. But I don't think you can realistically put a skill into either of them. One, two, three, four, five. So make that three dice. I want to push him that way though. GG. Failed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, maybe I should have re-rolled one of the pickups, but I I might I, I was down to one re-roll, that was the thing, so I didn't really want to re-roll the pickups, you know? And plus there was no threat from him. The only re-roll I would have picked up, I mean I was still winning one nil, right? So um so there was no necessity to pick it up. Like maybe maybe I could have won two nil if I'd picked it up earlier, but I didn't want to commit re-rolls to it. When it was non-essential. <laughs> four, four passes, three fails of GFIs. That seems pretty standard. And two out of five pickups. Um, also pretty standard. And the block dice rolled quite a number of both downs with the uh, Black Orcs, but never mind. Obviously got very lucky with the uh, Kaz. And got the Apo after the first game. So that's very good. Two Kaz for him is amazing. Kaz for him, Kaz for him. So 
an MVP on the Blackhawks is now absolutely outstanding. So that's very good. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.